Alright, what is going on people of the internet, and welcome back to the episode of Arcsel Evolved Max Speed, and today we actually have the gas bag. So, I've uh, spawned myself in a gas bag as well as the saddle for it, which gets put on the back side of it, so you can put a passenger on. You don't actually need a saddle to ride the gas bag in the first place. And I kind of had to do some testing, because I have not gotten a gas bag myself in my playthrough of Extinction. And, uh, I have to say, they're pretty difficult to control, and they're a little weird, and I don't really know where they fit in. Certainly at baseline stats, they're not super useful, other than the fact they have a crap ton of carrying weight. But they're not really great at going around the map. Um, they're not great at staying out of danger. They certainly aren't good in combat. And other than the fact that they're just absolute freight trains for the amount of carrying. I mean, this one that we have that we spawned in at 150 and force tamed has over 10,000 carrying weight. There's not a whole heck of a lot going for it other than that. I mean, there's some little funny things you can do, like just blow your opponents away and I was taming something with a friend last night and he hit a gas bag and it sent my tame and him flying far off into the distance because he forgot that that would happen but um, uh, the air controls are very very clunky I mean you basically have no control over where you're going once you're in the air you only have a very loose ability to suggest where you should be going to the game and maybe the game will listen to you but other than that you just kind of go until your air runs out and then once you're out of your fuel tank you just Soar back down to the earth and land wherever you land, no matter how bad it could be. The upside is is that the gas bag no longer takes fall damage in my testing, but I do have creative mode turned on for my player. I don't know if that would affect the gas bag or not. I assume not, because I was able to get hit by scorpions a little later on in this video. But um, in the beginning of Extinction, the gas bag was able to take full fall damage, so no matter what you did, you had to hop off your mount before it would... Um, before it would not take any fall damage, and then you would basically just lose your gas bag, and it was kind of awful, because they were really, really hyped up element of extinction, in the trailer at least, in my opinion, and they were kind of a poster child for it, certainly more than something like the Managarmor, the Volanosaur, we saw more of the gas bag, and it looked like they were going to be a bit more useful to the survivor and what you would be doing with them, but then you get into game, and they're not super great all in, and certainly they're cute, and they make funny noises, but I don't know where they really stand and their controls are super weird and I didn't really know how to use one so I had to jump in and test a bit beforehand but anyway we're gonna do a maximum speed build and you can see earlier it was not fast at all I mean there's no sprint when you're on the ground so we can't really test that luckily the jumps and the air movement scales with movement speed but it has a very very bizarre interaction I wouldn't be surprised if we had to revisit the gas bag in a max speed 2.0 2.0 because um, it gets a little clunky but uh, I love the level up animation, it has such a weird interaction when you have a full tank of air, it just, it doesn't look right in the slightest, but uh, as you see here, we're going to fill up the tank and we're going to jet off, and there's a monumental difference between a baseline gas bag and the gas bag that we have now. So just a little touch of a button and you're going to see how much faster this thing is going to go. First off, we have to test its on-ground movement speed, and for that I'm going to empty the tank by pressing C in midair. And just by walking, because of course there's no sprint for the gas bag, we're able to outspeed Carnos Wild, which is pretty good. Um, a lot of players can't do that even, but as soon as you press that space bar, these things just go absolutely soaring. But as you can see here, um, I lose all my control, and if you're going to use the full tank, you're going to run out really fast. So, as you can see here, this is the tallest building on Extinction. I've climbed all the way to the top of it with an enforcer. It took me like five minutes with a gas bag, a single tank of air, and you're clean over top of it. You overshoot it completely, and... Now we're just sitting here floating above both biospheres, we're above the max height of the building, and you're able to get a very crystal clear picture of the entire map and all of its surroundings, and looks pretty good. Um, but we kind of have to draw this back to the gas bag and relay that it's not totally controllable, and this part right here is really miserable. Because as soon as you're out of oxygen for your gas bag, and I believe that the tank increases with the oxygen stats, that might be something to consider. Um, as soon as you're out, you have only very minimal amounts of control. You can see here I can kind of turn left and right, and it will sort of edge the gas bag towards either direction, but for the most part, I have absolutely no bearings, and I have no way of communicating to the game what I want to do and where I want to land. But um, you can see here there's little collisions, and the gas bag's kind of teleporting up and down and up and down, and it's because it's too fast that it's trying to hold it back, but it's also trying to speed up, and um, the only thing I can kind of reference that this might be a glitch is that there's a game mechanic in GTA 5, and I know this is kind of off topic, but 
It's where if your car doesn't have bulletproof tires and you shoot out the suspension, the car will squat down on top of the tires and it will cause more collisions. And the more collisions that it has, the faster it goes, which is why I'm thinking that this might be not entirely a glitch, but certainly some of the altitude that we can account for the gas bag. It might be a glitch because there's so many collisions with the fact that it's teleporting up and down that it's speeding up the gas bag more than it should be. That's only with past experience, of course, and it might not actually be the case, but as you can see, we broke through a red barrier, which I can only assume was the kill box, but because my player is on infinite stats, thanks to uh, having creative mode turned on and the gas bag is just the gas bag, I um, I don't think that we died. I don't think that we died at all. But um, even hopping off the gas bag doesn't help to speed it up when falling towards the earth and we're just so high up and we just have to wait forever to fall back down and I kind of like that you can walk on top of it at least that's kind of cool you could probably make some pretty sick trick shots if you hopped off your gas bag and shot somebody out of the air while falling down like this um, but certainly max speed doesn't look really good on it right now because if this is what max speed is count me out all I'm doing is falling basically um, but I get a bit of a hang of it here, a little more, and you can see in the water the gas bag is basically useless. I mean, you would kind of expect that. I'm at least happy that you can't inhale oxygen while underwater. That is a nice thing. I'm holding down right click here, but it's not doing anything. As soon as I surface, then I'm able to take in oxygen, but I'm just very glad that the developers didn't forget this crucial detail that you can't breathe water. So that's good. Um, once you start to take into consideration the fact that you don't always need to use an entire tank of oxygen. You can get a much better hang of commanding a gas bag. And you can see it's very fast once you pump max movement speed and get imprinting bonus on it. It's certainly a redeemable feature, and it can be a really quick way to go around the map. It doesn't have the best stamina in the world, which almost surprises me to a degree, because as we're going around the map here, it doesn't feel any faster than a mana garmer would. And certainly after their stamina nerf, these things are relatively equal, but the mana garmer gets this from baseline. The gas bag has been hit with 73 levels of experience to even get remotely close to the mana armor in terms of movement speed. As well, you're lacking quite a lot of precision. Um, no matter what I do, I'm still kind of lost in where to go, and I'm just kind of gesturing where I want to go anywhere in arc, so um, there's not really a whole lot of control that I have. It hits very weak, so there would be absolutely no point never making a combat gas bag unless you were hoping to maybe do some sort of PvP build where... When people were coming up to raid you, you could send half their Rexes away and fight half their Rexes at first. It could be useful, but um, I really don't feel like health or melee damage should even be looked at with the gas bag. You could argue weight, but there's always already so much. I mean, 10,000 carrying, What more? how much more do you need? Like, enough's enough. If you need 20,000 carrying, how much are you farming? You could probably have just done like 45 runs back and forth by the time that it takes you to get 20,000 pounds worth of metal. So, um, I, I think the carrying stat's perfectly fine, and I've heard that oxygen scales with the amount of lung capacity the gas bag has. Certainly makes sense. You can see the inflation's 304, and I believe that's the same number as our oxygen was in the gas bag, or at least something incremental of that. And they're very hard to control. They're kind of glitchy. I don't know if I'd recommend going and taming yourself a gas bag. I mean, they're cute, they're certainly a novelty, and they're a featured part of extinction, but are they useful? Not really. They're pretty pretty difficult to control, but I mean they're fun, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. And I get a lot of people coming and telling me that like, oh, why do you like this creature? Why do you like this DLC? Why do you like anything? Well, it's just fun. I'm not a PvP player. I don't strictly play this game for the aspect of raiding people and getting the best of the best. I just enjoy the game, and that's kind of a lost concept on some people sometimes, but to each their own, really. Um, that's going to pretty much do it for us. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave it in the comments, and I'll be sure to get to every single one of those at some point. So, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Whatever I Make. And... Oh yeah, this is disturbing, by the way. Look at that. That is absolutely mortifying. I'm going to have nightmares about that for weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.